If you are new here, welcome. I almost just said to perfectly imperfect alignment. So maybe y'all need to go check that channel out. That's my second channel. Um, that is on my community board. I might put it in my um, in my description box. But okay, Scorpios, welcome. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Vedic, or Western Astrology. So let's get into it. Spiritual guides, angels, ancestors, sending me love, light, and clarity. Please come through, God of my higher self. Please come through, give me clear on these messages. Archangel Michael, please come through and protect me while I channel the message for Scorpio. So let's see. Spirit, wow, look, coming right out the box, Scorpio. Spirit, what is Scorpio's energy during this full moon in Libra? What is their name? What is their, okay, we got Capricorn. Okay, so you could be, you know, get into that bag right now, Scorpios. All right, you could be focused on, on your career at this time. All right, but yeah, um, y'all could be being a little toxic, just a little bit, okay? <laughs> but yes, I feel like um, y'all are very grounded in your emotions at this time as well. Seven of Wands, you could be, somebody could be blocked, or you could just be very defensive at this time, okay, so be aware of, I'm hearing toxic masculinity, toxic femininity, okay, or just, you know, being defensive all the time against everybody, okay, so be aware of that if that is your energy, but let's see what else is going on. Scorpios, what's the seven of wands, Holy Spirit? We got the hanged man. So, yeah, that energy is keeping you stuck. If you were wondering, all right, that energy of defensiveness, all right, but you may feel like you're standing your ground, 222 on the phone, but it may not be anything to stand your ground against. So once again, just cleanse that mental, okay? Be aware, all right? Do some self-reflection. Do some, you know, I'm hearing yoni, yoni stings. Okay, so you could be all, you could be potentially holding on to somebody else's energy, somebody else's anger, okay? Because it is a cord that is there. So y'all may need to do some type of cord cutting rituals. You could do it yourself or I offer those services. That information will be down below in the description box. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is definitely some type of cord that needs to be cut because you are taking on this energy, all right? I also feel like if you, like, okay, physically you may have moved on from somebody. Physically you may have, you know, realized that somebody was holding you back, okay? But I feel like, you know, it's a spiritual thing as well. So now you need to cut that tie. What's this? Yeah, two of cups. Some type of relationship. Or some relationship is blocked because you need to do some type of healing. All right. Some type of soul searching. Some type of cord cutting. Or somebody that you're dealing with. This person could be a Capricorn. All right. But it is a lot of heavy fire sign energy and heavy Pisces energy. Give me more Holy Spirit. Why is this hang man here for my Scorpios during this full moon in Libra? We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, some type of... Uh, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, that's kind of codependency. All right? Yeah, somebody could be very codependent. And I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting chills. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. Somebody could also be like, it's giving a little obsessed obsession, all right? This is Scorpio and Capricorn energy came out for y'all. So somebody is either obsessing over y'all or Capricorn. I'm going to call you Capricorn. Maybe I need to go watch Capricorn reading. But Scorpio, you be aware of, you know, you being a little obsessive, okay? That is a quality of yours. So just be aware of that. We got Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords coming out. Yeah, whoever this is, this Knight of Wands here, this player, this person in and out, maybe a booty call. This person is, you know, it's bringing your energy down. So be aware of that, especially with this, 
with this uh, earth energy. It's giving like, you know, down. It's giving grounded, all right? But it's not giving grounded as in, it's giving more of like bound, all right? So be aware of somebody trying to bind you. We have the Knights of Swords. Whoever this person is, they're coming out as knights. So you need, yeah, you need to think about some type of decision that you need to make, okay? Because somebody is a little immature. Somebody could be uh, verbally abusive as well or emotionally abusive. I hope not sexually abusive or physically abusive, but that's what I'm picking up on as well. Somebody is like abusive i don't like that give me one what's this knight of wands and this ten of wands what's that for the for my um scorpios yeah the, the fool in reverse spirit is saying do not take a leap of faith in this we got the hermit card here and the justice card four of cups yeah it's something or somebody needs to be rejected immediately you need to be alone and heal from this person that's why i was here yoni steam yeah some y'all need to cleanse the yoni, cleanse the energy, get you some palo santo, some sage, some incense. Okay, look, more sex. Somebody is a sex addict or driven by sex. That's why you have to block them or you are. That feel right on top of the seven of wands. You need to block them. Cut that cord because it's not, it, it ain't giving. It ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Look, we got falcon spirit animal, okay? You're very powerful. And I just saw dominance. So somebody could, yeah. Somebody could be trying to like over bind you, dominate you or something. We got black throat chakra. Somebody don't want you to speak up about something as well. And even if you don't speak up about this, somebody, you could have even tried to like speak to this person, tell this person how you feel some sort of way. And they like shut you down, cut you off. It's, it's giving like. Somebody was literally trying to bring you down and I feel like they succeeded for a while. Somebody, grandpa could be coming through telling you that you need to let go of this person. Okay, Tokyo could be significant. Getting licked back. You could have said something to this person that triggered them. And now their goal, <laughs> their mission is to shut you down, shut you up. Somebody's grandpa could be from Tokyo. <laughs> I'm mean, more sex, grandpa. I don't know why I just heard that. What's that? Um, hey, I don't want a grandpa. <laughs> it was a little kid. I'm crying. But somebody could be older. And, you know, be aware of, you know, trying to get all that in. Somebody trying to like, you know, <laughs> I don't know why this coming out, but somebody grandpa trying to get it in before they things stop working. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh-uh. I'm also getting it for some of y'all. Y'all grandpa could have been a little abusive. I'm just, I'm just giving the messages. It could be a grandparent out here that's trying to, you know, take something out on the grandkids as well. Be aware of that. Because it is like a lot of toxicity in y'all energy, Scorpios. But let's see what's going on for Scorpios during this full moon in Libra. Feeling safe? Yeah, you're going to find somewhere that you feel safe. Some of y'all, y'all only feel safe with your grandparents. And look how she... Some of y'all, this is healing from childhood traumas. I'm not even going to cap to you. Look at how she crossing her legs like that. Yeah, something... Y'all got to y'all gotta esteem that. Okay, radical... Rebirth, yeah. So you could have been around a lot of some of y'all. Y'all could have grown up around a lot of toxic male figures. So that's kind of what you attracted or what you became, depending on who you who's watching this. Look, four or five. So yes, continuing moving forward for movement. I love to see it. We got leveling up. Come on now, don't let this keep you down. Like I said, it was working for a while. Don't let this keep you down. You good. Look, truth in, in reverse. But we're going to turn that upright because you're speaking your truth. That's why that throat chakra block is right there because somebody doesn't want you to speak your truth. Somebody doesn't want you to know. I thought that just said worthiness. That says storm. Look, storm, sacred lust, and liberation. 
Whatever this is that you that you feel like you can't talk about, let it out to a therapist, somebody you trust. Write it down if you want to get a releasing ritual. That as well. <laughs> if you want to do a releasing ritual or purchase one, either or. But I, look, that's say 37.10. So something is ending. Giving and receiving. You're about to get e equality, equal reciprocity. <clears throat> it's not going to be one-sided or whatever, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. It's a lot of like, it's a lot of hurt energy around like sexual energy. With that devil card, it's a lot of toxicity going on as well. <clears throat> and my throat, you hit, did y'all just hear my voice? It's like my, my voice was kind of like giving out, but it wasn't like cracking, but it was kind of like giving out. It was like somebody was, you know how on, on the phone you could turn the volume down up it was like somebody was just doing that to my voice like trying to shut me cut cut me off cut my voice down so you couldn't hear something <laughs> so be aware of that yeah you you're not content look somebody gonna regret doing something but you're moving forward you, you're gaining that self-love you're rejecting whatever is not meant for you okay so this is a reflection question for you to think about during this full moon in libra it says where am i with my health goals where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? So yes, I feel like you need to do a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of deep shadow work, a lot of deep healing. If y'all want to book a personal reading, we can get deeper into that. But I feel like you need to free yourself from some truth that you are even hiding from yourself for some of y'all. But it says, if my body could talk, it would say underscore. What would it say? That's something to think about. If you wanna, if you feel comfortable enough, put it in the comments. Go ahead and do it. This is a safe space. All right. It says, feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. So for some, y'all may need to do celibacy. Y'all may need to do yoga things. Y'all may need to drink tea. You may need to work out to release some of that anger. All right. It's gonna be different for everybody. You may need to dance. All right. You may need to sing. You may need to take a spiritual bath for a regular bath. Go to the spa. Go to a sauna. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. Get a wax. Get your hair cut. Whatever it is. Okay. Make your, Help yourself feel good. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am handsome. I am here for a reason. I have a purpose. I am not my mistakes. I am not my past. I am not my traumas. Shit, write it in the comments to affirm that shit. I am not my traumas. I am not my past. I move forward graciously and confidently. <laughs> Amen. Anyway, Archangel Michael, can we have a message to end off the reading for my Scorpios for this full moon in Libra? Thank you. It says take your time making a decision. Yeah, when it comes to relationships and people that you, you know, calling in, be aware of that because... The people that you call in reflect you in some type of way. So if you call in toxic people, maybe you need to, you know, look within as to why am I con continuous consciously? Okay, why am I consciously picking the wrong people? Why am I continuously picking the wrong people or friends or, you know, putting myself through things that I know that I don't need to go through or that I know that I don't deserve to go through? All right. So it says, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. Look, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Some of y'all don't trust y'all because y'all don't put y'all in too many fucked up situations. Or y'all don't trust the people that put y'all in too many trust fucked up situations. But it's time to regain that trust in self because you know yourself better than anybody. You know what's best for you. And if you don't, you better ask God about it. Period. That was your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Become a triple GOG. Because you know we got the God giving gifts on this here channel. For more end up collective readings, go over to my Patreon. Okay, period. Because we get lit over there. Okay, poo poo. Period. <laughs> I love it. Look, be gentle with yourself. It is okay. Give yourself a hug. If I could give you a hug, I would. I love you. Come on, bring, bring it in. Bring it in. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in another one. Bye.